Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tom Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm Juan. And, uh, y- you sound upset. Huh? You're like, I'm Juan. No, I'm Juan. Look, you got a little haircut. I every once in a while, I have to. Okay, yeah. Shaved? I have to sometimes. Did you do that, or did they do this, too? No, I, I, I don't shave myself. You don't shave yourself? No, they do it. You don't do your face? No, I let the barber do it. Really? Yeah. Why? Huh? You don't shave your face ever. I try not to, no. Why? What happens if you do? Nothing happens. Then why don't you do it? I don't know. I'm already getting paid for the haircut. Might as well get a shave. Yeah, but... Feels good, man. Okay, but still, you don't shave yourself? Nah, I don't really. How often do you cut your hair? Every couple weeks, usually. Yeah, but now it's been like once a month. So then you shave once a month? Yeah. You like that? I don't care. Don't you get itchy like your hair? No, I've had a beard most of my life. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you do the eyebrows, too? Uh-huh. No? Uh, I used to get them threaded. I don't care anymore. The barber doesn't do that? Uh, th- no. The threading of the eyebrows? Well, whatever. I'm not going to get them shaved. I got them threaded. Okay. But I haven't done that in a while. It stings. At Susie Fett, do you thread? No. You wax? I don't really have hair at all. She says she doesn't really have hair. She's blonde. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to talk about Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2, it's Monday afternoon here in South Florida. It's been wet out, wet. It's like, been raining a lot. W- raining a lot. Like, su- yeah. the, it, South Florida has been wet, like like, like virgin wanting to be tapped wet, you know? Or just really wet because it's raining a lot. Yes. So, like, literally roads have become rivers, parking lots have become lakes. It's pretty bad, right? Yeah. Sign of the times. It's when you discover whether your roof is needs repair or not. Yes, yes. A good, good. Because we got a leak, and I'm like, fuck. We have a leak here? No, I'm at the house. Oh, that sucks a dick. Yeah. I'm sorry. We didn't know. Well, now you know. I'm better now than hurricane season. I know. So, what are you? Are you just gonna patch that area? Yeah. Well, we're, we're they're getting the roof repaired anyways. Oh, really? So. You're doing a lot of repairs at the house. Well, fucking Irma fucked us up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In- insurance is a motherfucker, though. It took forever. Yeah. Who do you have, Geico? I don't fucking know. know. Allstate? And something like that. I don't know. Anyway, so Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 was here. Um, uh, the second installment of the rated R Fox franchise. Um, and uh, just, you know, it, it did $125 million, I saw, it, Yeah. Uh, over the weekend. It underperformed Deadpool 1. They were hoping it would do 150, I think, with the projections. And it just didn't. It didn't even do that. It, um, I thought it was going to do better than Deadpool 1, too. There's a lot of competition, though. To be fair, there, I mean, there's Infinity War. We still made like thirty million. Yes, and then, uh, but that's really it. There, what? There's that book club movie, which is like you know. No, but Infinity War is a major thing. You're competing for the same audience. Throwing that thirty million, you hit one hundred and fifty. I mean, Infinity War didn't have a problem when Black Panther was still in the theater. Uh, Black Panther that was two months old. Infinity yeah. War is three weeks old. Fair enough. I understand. Yeah, I agree. And there's people that wait for it to die down and go see it, which is why you have Infinity War with a thirty million dollar weekend anyway. Yeah. So here's right? the, here here's the question. This week Solo comes out. We'll it's going to be, this is going to be a mess. Solo Will Solo dethrone Deadpool? Yeah, absolutely. So Deadpool is going to probably not have the best return. That no, dead, Deadpool, this is really just bad placement for Deadpool. But even Solo, you, you needed, I don't understand, like you needed to give uh, Avengers like at least a couple months. Like Black Panther was competing against nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know, but... Maybe it was the cockiness of Ryan what, Reynolds, maybe Fox, maybe they're like Deadpool pulled in. What's Deadpool, Deadpool 1 pull in? Like 6 or 7? I don't know. Something like that? I don't know. Either way. Uh, I mean, it is one of the... like I think After it's, Deadpool 1, it broke a lot of records. I think it's like the top R-rated movie yeah. ever. Or, Second place or, or all over the place. Or one of the top right. three. It's definitely up there. Um, it's still going to do good. Uh, right. Box office wise. <laughs> I mean, $125 million, That's nothing to... And internationally, it did really well. Yeah. So, those ridiculous numbers. Which is crazy because, as we've discussed multiple times, American comedy doesn't translate as well right. overseas as it does in America. And this definitely deserved the R rating. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. This was, this was this, a hard R. This movie overall was way more funnier. Yeah, it was funnier. Than the first one. Um, way more jokes. Way more fourth wall stuff. He talked, to the, he talked to us, the audience, a lot more in this movie than he did in the first episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Uh, before we before we dive into the details of it, I thought it was more niche. Um, 
What do you mean? I thought it was way more comic booky. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I had to pick a movie that that it closest hits the comic book, it would be this movie. This was really comic booky. Mm, I need to think about that before I, I'll think about that one. I'm yeah. it on that. I got to go through a lot of movies to to make yeah. that decision. Uh, but I I will say this. Uh, overall, I like the movie, but I didn't love it, uh, and I think. Deadpool 1 is still better than Deadpool 2. What was your overall feeling in the movie? I mean, I think you're you're only saying that because Deadpool 1 was fresh when it came out. It was the first rated R superhero movie. Um, that is not why. But, but, but I mean, that, I think that adds on to a lot of people because I thought this movie was better. You thought so you, so you enjoyed this movie and you enjoyed it better than the first Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was funnier. I thought it was I thought it was, it was great. Funnier. It was definitely funnier. Okay, okay. So, uh, the storyline sucked, but Oh, yeah, the storyline was bad. It was bad. First of all, the villain was this, you know, kid, this British kid or wherever he's from, South Africa. Maybe. Know, you know? But, like, he was the bad guy, I guess? Not, not even. It was just really a stupid story. I guess. I mean, I mean, Deadpool did say it's a family film. It's about a family coming together, which X-Force is the family, I guess. Um... But I guess you could say it was a story to stop a kid from becoming this massive a villain. villain that yeah. terrorizes the world in the future. A future that we really didn't even get to know or understand. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest problem with the movie, um, and the reason why I don't like it as much as the first one, really comes down to the character of Cable. I was super excited about Cable. I love Cable. I think he's fucking great. Um, I'm wearing a cable shirt. I bought this shirt for the movie. I'm like, cable, you know? And Josh Brolin looked great. Uh, we saw that teddy bear on those on those shots that when, mm -hmm. they, when they showed it a year ago or whatever, six months ago. And we were all like, what's the teddy bear about? Because, you know. Well, we, we kind of suspected it was, you know, because he had that series with Hope. It was something to do with that. Yeah, yeah. But it had, we don't understand why it was burned, though. It had nothing to do with Hope, apparently. Spoilers, motherfuckers. Spoilers. Uh, you know, Cable has a wife and child that get murdered, burned to death by the kid that he goes back to kill to prevent his family. That's his motive. Right, Back to the Future. That, it's not Back to the Future. No, it's not Back to the Future. It's it's. I, I went in the past to, to save my family. Back to the Future was not about saving families, you fuck. It turned into it, though. No, no. Suck my... Suck a dick. Don't even talk about Back to the Future. That movie's perfect. Fuck with you. Anyways. Um, so, seriously, though. Like, that's the motive. That's Cable's motive. Saving his family. We know nothing about Cable. We don't know how he has the time-traveling powers. We don't even explore his mutant abilities. As far as the layman is concerned that went to see this movie and knows nothing about Cable, he's just a dude who got his arm blown off and has a cybernetic arm and is good with guns but has no powers whatsoever. If you didn't know anything about Cable, you would think, what, he's a cyborg? Yeah, like Terminator. Yeah, Terminators. They made point. some Terminator jokes. Yeah, they did make some Terminator jokes. So, yeah, but, Terminator. Like, the complexities of Cable's character and his motives and his reason for coming back to the past in the comic books is so much more rich and, and, the, and the characters. And, look, I'm not saying you need to say that he Cyclops is fucking kid. I'm, you, you don't need to go there. You know, but Mr. Sinister has a huge deal to do with Cable. They hinted at Mr. Sinister. Sure. The Essex, Essex House. Essex House. Yeah, you the know? Essex House. Um, which is Mr. Sinister. Name is Essex, name, guys. Nathaniel Essex. Um, on top of that, too, like, uh, uh, Apocalypse destroying the future and stuff. Cable goes back to prevent it. Like, there's just so much more to the character. And I, I get it. You can only say so much in a movie. And it's not a Cable movie. It's a Deadpool movie. You sure. Know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I think that was the, what they were doing with the comics, though. What do you mean? Like, if we really want to know about Cable, he'd need his own movie. The The Cable we're getting is a Cable in relation, his relationship, in relation to Deadpool. Yes, I... Right, I, and, and I think what they're setting up for the future ones is, you know, the Cable Deadpool series. Um, that's great, but, but you want to know what? You, you, you introduced the character and, and you gave him a very vague origin. Because he doesn't really need it within the Cable, I mean within the Deadpool universe. So, well, if you come up with a Cable movie now, what? All of a sudden you're supposed to explain that he's fucking I mean, yeah, they didn't Sentinel say, they didn't say shit about Juggernaut. Oh, easy. We'll get there. We'll get there. But they didn't say shit about him? How are you supposed to know he's like Xavier's like stepbrother and everything that goes along with that? And well, they, 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 he did. Oh, right, he did like that. minor hints, but they, they do like minor hints at Cable's. Like, there's no real backstory to anyone. This is all about Deadpool. 
Yes. Cable needs his own movie. Okay, but if you do a, if you do a cable movie, now you have to like now all of a sudden he's got a wife and kid. Now all of a sudden his motive for time traveling is protecting his family. But it could work. So like him changing the future if you do a cable movie when he goes back, that wife and kid don't have to exist. See, we never saw him having a wife and kid after Deadpool changes the future. But the right? The wife and kid would exist. But they could have died a different way. Just by that kid not you know the butterfly effect. Final destination. Yeah. Battle the butterfly effect. You don't who the fuck no, maybe he goes into the future and there's hope, but hope is not his daughter. Uh, and Bishop is such a huge component of the cable mythology too. Right, but again it, it, this had nothing to do with cable really. I know. I know, but it is I think he's just a cable super fan. I, I I'm a big fan. I, I read his books. And so. they should have had yeah, they should definitely have a, a cable movie like Terminator Salvation. Y- y- you know what it, it <laughs> It's it's just they should have, they didn't do cable just they didn't do his backstory justice. Right. They should have done something else other than just a cop out. I'm going back to save my wife and kid. And the, but this goes yeah. back to the point that I made after the movie. I think that this movie was really geared towards people that actually love and read comic books. Like no, that whole movie makes more sense if to that us, right? Was the case then two things. Cable would have had a better backstory, and. The Essex House would have hinted at Mr. Sinister more than having some creepy white preacher motherfucker, you know. Be- well, they called it Ex- the the Essex. The Essex School. Yeah, but that's enough. I guess, but but Nathaniel Essex, first of all, is not religious at all. He's mm-hmm. he's a he's a he's a biologist. He's a he, he, he right. He, he's a geneticist. Right. You know, he's and and he's a scientist and and. So having the main guy be like, you know, you're an abomination, mutants, the Lord is going to save you, blah, blah, blah. Like, that, it goes against Mr. Sinister, you know? Yeah. And why would why would Mr. Sinister have a place where they would torture young mutants and study young mutants, but have it be driven... I mean, we don't know. ...driven by faith. But we can't, we can't know that until... I, 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 I get it. There, there's, there's opportunities to have further expansion of the universe and explain it. But the fact that they laid down a foundation like that means they need to either backpedal from that and retell the story, or they need to. They Maybe Sinister was off doing other shit and didn't realize he put some crazy fucking religious guy there. I don't know, but it, I'll tell you what. They never really said who this religious guy is. If, if they say that's Nathaniel Essex, I'm gonna be like, No, no, there's no way. He fuck. got killed. He's no. dead. Yeah, he did. He get ran over by. Yeah. Mohunder or whatever, right? Whatever his name is, right? He's, um, he's dead. Anyways, that's what I hate. I hated, I hated how they interpreted the Essex House, and I hated Cable. And for those two reasons, it does not make the movie better for me than um, than the first Deadpool. I thought it was better. I thought it was great with, with Cable. I didn't have a problem because I just saw them as setting up this whole Cable Deadpool dynamic. Um, and Cable within the Cable Deadpool Deadpool dynamic is a different Cable than we've seen in the X Men books. So I didn't think of them as X Men Cable. I thought of them as Cable. A, C- cable Deadpool X uh, Cable I was cable able, I know that cable sounded cable. Yeah <laughs> Alright You guys know what I'm trying to, You know what I'm trying to say I, I saw him as a separate entity That's all I didn't see him as Cable from the X-Men I just saw him as Cable who gets annoyed At Deadpool And sends him on Bullshit missions Cable What did you think about About the interpretation Of the character Of Cable Like Like uh, The way he looked the, 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 the Like I love the way he looked I think he looked good too I like how they used His, his eye yeah, that was all amazing. His shield, uh, everything was just really, really cool. I, the only thing I, I even loved his suit, the magnetic. You know, I didn't. I didn't like when he when he left the future, came to the past, and was wearing that bodysuit. Yeah, you were looking for the more traditional like. I I didn't like that. It, it looked very. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. It looked like he just came out of like one of those like. Um, those 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 tubes that you get frozen in yeah if you're traveling through space but i mean they're not going to give him the whole he's not going to be the whole x-men thing again maybe that all that's because the future is going to be changed and maybe in a future cable movie we'll see how it changes maybe the x-men didn't exist when uh in that timeline okay well what 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 did you hate about the movie i mean i thought honestly the weakest point was that fire fist was that he was fire fist? yeah he was awful he was bad yeah he was really bad i thought the whole essex house was awful yeah the whole story was just really really weak it was and and do you think the the director change has something to do with it because obviously tim miller i think did deadpool one it, it, whoever the the writing was just i mean the writing was still done by ryan reynolds he co-wrote it co-wrote yeah. it and so 
I just think this was just really a weak script. It, it really showed off Deadpool and the X Force, and but um, I thought the story was pretty weak. Yeah. You know, and I really hated Fire Fist a lot. Yeah. Every time he was on screen, it was so off putting. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I didn't like is I felt like they could have. Uh, I, I think they could have showcased Domino a little more than they did. I love Domino. I, I did love Domino. Domino. Right. Domino was fantastic. But I mean, like. Showcase. I think they did good with her. The, the whole luck thing, I think you had that one scene. I thought that was pretty cool. But I, I don't. That, that whole chase was her, Brace. Yeah, I know. But it wasn't like, you know. Yeah. I thought they could have done more. I would have liked more Domino. She was great. I thought I thought it was a good balance. I I, I enjoyed the domino di- di- dynamic. I, I will. <laughs> I expected so much more of X Force and the fact. That I thought that was fantastic. And the fact that we didn't get that, I, I thought that was fantastic. I was blown away. I, I thought it was great too. Um, I I would have loved to see Shatterstar. The Shatterstar that, that was loose. really funny. I would have loved to. See, I, I, they mentioned the Mojo verse. Yeah, they did mention the Mojo Verse, right. which was actually and, pretty cool. And when he got chopped up, green blood. Right, but you know what it is? Again, that's like a com- like again. This movie was more geared towards comics. Yeah. Right, like the Mojo. Who the fuck knows what the Mojo Verse is? Nobody. Right, and like they didn't, they didn't even explain it. They're like it was like super. Perfect. We were in that theater seeing the people that were in like maybe like a third of the theater understood. Yeah. Right. Well, when we saw we're, it, yeah, because yeah, yeah. like the Mojo Verse, like who knows? Yeah. Um, and yeah, and introducing the X Force, why I thought all that shit was really funny is not why other people probably thought it was funny. I think killing Shatterstar was awesome. I, killing all of them was like, yeah, and Vanisher that was Vanisher was great. I laughed the whole Brad, time. Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt being the, the yeah. cameo. If you guys didn't catch it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. just seeing the backpack like jump off the plane that was yeah. really this. This movie was funny. Yeah, it was, and just the, the random guy off the street too that mm-hmm. came in, and then D- Dowhinder or whatever. I, I I don't know what his name is. Right, <laughs> he was like. <laughs> yeah, that was great. They wouldn't let him on the team. They wouldn't let him on the team. But they let this random. The team. X Force that was I was super surprised. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is a, a completely different movie than what you think it is, according to the trailers, right? Why do you say that? Because after wh- when I watched the trailers and seen this movie, it turned out to be a different movie than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I I knew the kid had something to do with it. Sure. Um, I and I thought Cable was going to have a better backstory because I know Cable. Mm-hmm. Whatever, fuck you guys. Um, and. Uh, but I thought X Force was going to be way more prominent. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was because like, in I the mean, end, like you see that you see that scene of them on the plane before right. they all jump off, and you're like, yeah. oh, shit, right? This has become a, you know the the introduction. Except they all die. They all die in like the, the first two yeah. minutes. Yeah. I mean, I guess we get the X Force we get so when we saw at the end of the movie when he's in his gray suit. Yes. Right. Yes, just by Ash or whatever. So him, Domino, you know. Him, Domino, Cable. Cable. The kid. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Colossus, maybe. Colossus, uh, Negasonic team. No, I think they're still going to stay X Men now. <clears throat> yeah, they They'll will. They'll stay X Men. Yeah. They'll just bring other people. Yeah, they will bring other people. So, um, the big surprise for me, and I think for everyone, and k- kudos to Fox and everyone for keeping it on the low, was Juggernaut. Juggernaut. I, nobody knew that. Nobody. And, like, even people even people in the audience, when they, when they revealed them, they're like, yeah! Yeah. You know, and he looked. He looked great. Great. They fixed that travesty. Great. He looked great. Yeah. Um, and 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 he was a badass. Yeah. You know, and the fight between him and Colossus was great. was great. You know. Yeah. So. And um, they made him like super pot. He was like taking every though everybody down. As he should. He's yeah. Down he's, you're right. Yeah. So I thought that the Jarna thing was awesome. Also, you know, like throwing that in there about being X's, you know, uh, Professor, uh, Professor X's step brother. Yeah. Um, that was really cool. Like again, really comicy, man. Yes. And and they fixed him. What they did to him, his helmet looked fantastic. Not like that weird bullet thing that this guy wore. Yes, he looked great. And he was huge. Yeah. You know, the yeah. CGI was great. Like when you saw his hands, his fingers were like he was just huge. So yes. it was awesome. Yes, agreed. Um. Didn't tell us how he became Juggernaut. I don't know if they're going to use the whole I hot, hope they don't the do whole crystal, the do crystal do thing. That's stupid. I hope they don't. I just, so, he's a mutant. Okay, yeah. just forget the the whole crystal thing, right? Yeah, they they, they needed. He just a mutant, and that's his power. Yeah. Sure. So Juggernaut was awesome, man. The crystal thing is was is it? So he didn't die, by the way. You no. saw him getting out of the water towards the end. Yeah. Um, so that that was awesome. I, I thought Juggernaut was the biggest Nobody surprise died, in the movie, right? Except for X Force. <laughs> yeah, except for X Force. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, I would have, I would have loved to see Shatterstar let loose. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a great swordsman, but we didn't. And it was just funny. Yeah. Um, they didn't use Negasonic this time as much. 
No, but she they they used her a little bit. Yeah. Um, a shame because I thought she she was my biggest surprise from Deadpool one was uh, Negasonic. Speaking of Negasonic, the first uh um the first gay openly gay relationship in a comic book movie. Sure. Right. Yeah. I mean that's a big deal. Yeah. You know, because a lot of people talk about well, why don't they show that blah 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 and and, here and they handled it pretty well too. Yeah, super. Yeah, they yeah. didn't make a big deal out of it. No, it was, like, it, was, it was it was very nonchalant, natural. Yeah, I love I. <laughs> and and the girl like hey. Yeah, hey, and Deadpool's like hey. I mean, yeah. it was I mean, I love that dude. Yeah. That was so great. Um, so that was well done. One of the best parts for me, the X Men cameo. The X Men cameo was super surprising. You know what? And and it happened so fast. I didn't even see everyone. I saw Beast. Beast. I saw I saw right. Uh, 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 McAvoy. Uh, Cy- Cyclops. I didn't see him. No. No, I saw Beast. I saw I saw Professor X, and I saw. Um, that's all I saw. I think. Jean Grey. No, I didn't see her. Was she there? You know what it is? I think uh, they did that on purpose because all you did was focus on the big blue fucking Beast thing. Yeah, you saw him first, and but no, I I did see James McAvoy there though. The, the thing is, I the minute I realized what was happening, I tried to look real quick, but it was over. Yeah, it was, it was too was fast. So quick, and I've always seen yeah. it once, but I, I, I'm curious as to who else was on. That was amazing. Oh, quick, so I saw Quicksilver too. Okay. Yeah, so I saw Quicksilver. I saw which um, um, Beast and Professor X. I don't right. know who else was there. Was that was fantastic? I, I thought I'd had seen him. That's great. With the glasses. There's no way. What's her name was there? Jean Grey. No. She? I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, it could have been. Look, they were filming Dark Phoenix at the same time. At the same time, Deadpool, right? Deadpool. So, you know, using similar sets. Right. You know, it'd be great if in uh, Dark Phoenix, uh, Deadpool. They're show? they're they're meeting there, and then they see Deadpool in the hallway, and they close the door. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Yeah. Make what? it happen, Marvel. Oh my God. Yeah. That Fox. Would be so. That would be, be genius. Yeah, they're having a meeting about the Dark Phoenix, and they hear this noise, and outside is Colossus and Deadpool. Yeah. And Beast yeah. closes the door, closes yeah. Closes the door, yes. yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. That would be good call. Good yeah. call. Make that shit happen, motherfuckers. Wow. Um, what else? Is that it? Oh, killed his girlfriend right away, dude. Yeah, they killed her pretty quick. Yeah. Like, could not believe that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it, and then like the whole like hinting at heaven, the rest of the movie, like she's there waiting for him. I was like, what? Or she's in some place, wherever it is. It was yeah. Like, oh, no, it's, it's, I think it's like their version of heaven, you know? Right. It's not purgatory, mm-hmm. you know. Um. And then and then the end, the end, the cutscenes. He gets the time. Well, wait, there was no. I th- I thought there were other like. There were a ton of inside jokes. No, there's a, there's a lot of good jokes. A ton of jokes. I don't even remember them all. But there were, the, the the movie was. The movie, this movie was way more comedy than the last one. Yeah, I, I, I love the dig at life. Felt that that was one of my favorite things. Yeah, I mean there were one liners everywhere. Which, which, what's funny is, um, like I don't. There's a cover for like X. If you guys want to look on the X Factor Three, where life feels so bad at drawing feet that he covered everyone's feet with clouds. Oh really? Like things of smoke, and it's a cover. It's funny because the cover is of Juggernaut and like cables there, and Deadpool and Domino and Shatterstar, yeah. and they're all fighting Juggernaut, and all their feet are covered. Really? So it's really funny. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah so there's like a ton of inside jokes. There, there's just a, how about how about them making fun of DC? A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Like they made a Batman joke. They made a DC Universe joke. Right. They, how dark it is, right? They, they, you know, they poked fun at themselves, too. They poked fun at, you know, Wolverine a lot. There was a lot of Wolverine jokes. There was a lot of Wolverine jokes. You know? Even in the beginning, which was, yeah. uh, that was the end of Old Man Logan, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, he's like, motherfucker, <laughs> lighten off my style. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, our movie, because, you know, whatever. Right. Um, and then, um... And, and he called him Thanos. That yeah, was just they, they made some straight Marvel called Josh Brolin Thanos. Some Marvel Studio jokes too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so, um, here's here's one because I know we're gonna get to the end credit scene, which was probably the best part of the movie. One of yeah. one of. Um, but before we get that, so Disney is gonna acquire Fox, right? And there was a big hoobab about Disney making them take something out of the film or having a problem. Do you think it was the fact that Deadpool basically accused Disney's Frozen of ripping off that song? Yeah, the song. Do you want to build a snowman? No, I don't think it was that. Uh, that was pretty blatantly yeah, yeah. accusing Disney of plagiarism. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah. I didn't notice. Now that I saw it, I can't like stop thinking about it. You know, there's a bunch of songs out there that rip people off. So, but that was pretty bad. That was, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, guys, Thriller is "Give It to Me, Baby" by Rick James. Same song. Ready? Give it to me, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Thriller. 
Doom, 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 doom. Do, 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 do. It's the same thing. Right, but this was just like again. It's a big deal, dude. Thriller? No, no, no. Sure, it is a big deal. But like thriller, you're comparing a Frozen song. I'm talking thriller. Right, but arguably like arguably the best music video ever. Right, but the James Brown estate isn't buying the Michael Jackson catalog. James Brown, Rick James. James. Rick James estate isn't buying Michael Jackson's catalog. I'm Disney's saying. buying Fox. I'm just saying. Disney's buying Fox. Okay. I was just I was surprised. Every reggaeton song is the same. song. It's the same song, right? But yeah, I was just surprised. You weren't surprised in that. Too. What? that. You weren't surprised. No, no, that didn't. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. End um, credit scenes. And, but but you know, does the, the the Disney Fox deal isn't in the bag yet? Still, with right? Comcast came in out of nowhere, right? I hope Comcast buys Fox, because look, look I mean, whatever. We'll get to that in a second. End credit scene is great. Basically, it fixed everything. Right. Like everything. So his girlfriend's alive. His girlfriend's alive now. Yep. Um. So she'll be back. Um, there was no Deadpool in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah, well, there is no Deadpool with a closed mouth, the, the weird mutant yes, whatever thing. Was, yeah, whatever he's gone. He's gone. And, uh, and, and the, they, they got, uh, what's his name to do that, huh? Oh, they made a Green Lantern joke. H- H- Hugh, Hugh Jackman was in that part, right? I don't... That was Hugh Jackman. It was Hugh Jackman, but I don't think they, I don't think, I don't think they got... It wasn't that. reshot? I think they took footage from the movie. Right. And, and just... Repurposed it. Okay. Because... It looked like it was on a loop. Like, it mm-hmm. showed him, and then it went to Deadpool killing the Deadpool. Right. And then it went back to Logan. It looked like the same shot. Okay. You know? But they gave a special thanks to Hugh Jackman in the end credits. Yeah. If you saw. No. Yeah. Um, and the, the Green Lantern thing was uh, crazy to me. Yeah, he killed himself. Yeah, he went back and killed Ryan Reynolds before he was ever able to accept the Green Lantern role. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was insane. I know. So supposedly as a little like tweet, I don't know if it was j- jokingly or not, WB's like, we need our ring back. Oh, really? To Ryan Reynolds. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So that was great. And then the, the Juggernaut song. The Juggernaut then, song was great. Great. It's it, it, Yeah, it was really good. Mm-hmm. I, I was just thinking about like, because it was very like operatic and very like, Official. It was very '90s X-Men. I could just, I could just totally see like, like you know, I'm a singer and I get called to do this gig to just sing a song, record a song for a movie, and and the lyrics were like, "Oh shit," something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but it sounded very like '90s X-Men animated series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. So, uh, movie is good. The movie is worth it, man. Um. They announced, you know, I, I think they said that they're 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 push trying to do an X Force movie now. Sure. There won't be a Deadpool three. I do. I, and Ryan Reynolds said, like, I thought this movie X Force is the next step. The, yeah, right. and I guess like seeing him in a team dynamic will be interesting. Yeah, because he can't dominate the screen anymore. Right. Right. Yeah. So that that's gonna we'll see how he pulls it off because I don't know if that'll make it weak or not. I know I hate Deadpool in the comics. I hate Deadpool. I hate Deadpool. I hate him breaking the fourth wall in the comics. So do I. Right. It works in the movie for me. Like it works. Like Yeah, but you wanna know why he's not the first person to talk to the audience. Ferris Bueller did it. No right, but I'm I'm saying yeah. it doesn't work for me in comics with his character. It works for me in the movies with his character. Yes. Right? I know it's not the first time. Yeah. But just the awareness of other things usually it's enough to like take you, you, the whole suspension of disbelief stuff usually is jarring that he mentions calls Brolin Thanos because you're like oh fuck I just saw Avengers right yeah, yeah, but yeah. in this movie it really worked yeah and it made the movie like funnier and more engaging and I connected to it yeah uh, and I just it was I thought it was I mean other than that fire man the fire fist was terrible bro it's horrible horrible but listen guys go see the movie go support the movie because if, if it does well we get more rated R Superhero movies, which is you know, I mean the last two were Deadpool one and uh, and Old Man Logan and both were, were both fantastic. Were both yeah. were great. Like we 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 need adult content in our superhero movies. Right? Sure. Because if not, it's just going to be, you know, right. Like okay. how much better would Infinity War have been if if someone oh. if, if, if if it was rated R could curse, you know, because you know he would. He's one of those guys that would say fuck. Right? Yeah, you would definitely be. Yeah, or or like you know, like Thanos, you know, literally like crushing skulls. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Give us some realism behind it. But I, I, yeah, I liked like I do the first time I saw Old Man Logan when those guys up and he cut their head off. Like. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I know. Made it way better. I know. Made it way better. It's why it's probably my favorite Wolverine movie. 
Yeah, it's really good. So, it, I mean, it's it's might be top five superhero movies ever. Right. Yeah. And by the way, like Deadpool, them Deadpool and all those jokes. Then we're talking about Wolverine and Wolverine makes sense because they're both part of the uh, Weapon X program. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, no, not according to the movies. Deadpool was not part of the Weapon X program. In Deadpool one, that wasn't the Weapon X program. He wasn't the. Oh no, he wasn't. Oh, that's just. We we don't know what oh, program it was. Shit. But it wasn't Weapon X. It's not like that in the comics. Like that guy Francis, he didn't. He wasn't. He, he that was, They didn't address that as Weapon X. Oh, they need to fix that. No. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Think you don't care. Do. I don't think you need. I don't, I don't think Deadpool needs to be part of the Weapon Plus program. All right. Yeah. It makes more sense for his relationship with Wolverine is all. Because, I mean, Deadpool, Deadpool at the end of the day, it, you know, his mutant power to regenerate and live forever, that's, that, they didn't create that. That's just what came out of it. He couldn't right. have thrown wings, you know? Right, the right. The point of that program he was in was to activate the, the action. Right. So, all right. whatever. Anyways, uh, Deadpool 2, go see it. Do you have anything else to say? No, it's a really good movie. Really good movie. Subscribe, like, uh, comment on our channel, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search Corker Comics on YouTube. Uh, you can check out either one of our locations. We have one in Miami on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU, and another one in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard just east of University Drive for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm Stephen Corker. Juan Yep.